This is Cheryl Arias Wicker with Christian Movie Connect, and we are with Alec Rainey uh, from the movie Left Behind. Thanks for being with us, Alec. Of course. Love to be here. Thank you very much for having me. Okay. Well, we just discovered that we're both from Louisiana, so that's kind of neat. Yes, it <laughs> is. And from New much. Orleans, Louisiana. Yes. Okay. So tell me uh, how you got involved in Left Behind. I actually got a call because uh, the, the role of Hasid is a uh, Arab American that uh, is Muslim that converts to Christianity and um, the cast director actually knew that I come from a Muslim background and my mom and her family are a Christian background. So they thought, what better, you know, they gave me a call and they said, come in and read, just, you know, do what you can. And I, I read the part and it was fantastic. And I said, I got to get in this movie. Great. So, um, so tell us a little bit about the movie for people who aren't familiar. I think most anybody that knows about a Christian movie is going to know about the movie Left Behind, but. First and foremost, it's a good movie in the fact of it's action-packed. It's a thriller. Um, we hit all the notes for a blockbuster, and we give that subtle message, that indirect message of the gospel and of the books of the left behind. We're not trying to preach and shove it down your throat. We're doing it the way that planting a seed. And, and, and if it turns into something, that's, you know, that's up to God. Um, but we are um, just making a good movie, trying to give the fans what they want. Okay, great. So tell me a little bit about your career and, and uh, how you got into movies and what you've been doing. I actually um, got into stunts and played football in college, a little bit of professional arena football, and then st fell into stunts. Yeah, that's funny. And um, <laughs> after I got tired of like doing the physical thing, I, I, I wanted to get into acting and um, do you know something that was artistic and that I could create. And um, acting was the next level for me, so uh, it all worked out. Doors opened, and I walked through them. And I mean, it's all because of you know God. Uh, absolutely, this is uh, you know something that I can't control, and I'm just happy to be where I'm at. Okay, very good. Well, you've been in the business for a little while now, about ten years, which you know you don't really look like it, but uh, thank you. Yeah. So, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, you know why you've gotten involved in Christian films. Um, as an actor, you seldom get to work on something that you believe in or that you relate to. You always end up being somebody that you've never been, and that's fun. It's fun to play a part of a serial killer. I've never killed anybody, but, you know, I can, I can imagine killing someone I'm playing. But to play a part of somebody that you relate to so well and that um, your characteristics are similar and your beliefs are, are so right on, it just... It makes it to where you're not acting, you're just being, just being. And that, is, for an artist, is that's what you want. You want something to where you don't even have to create, it's just there. And that's, that's what it was like on the Left Behind movie. Yeah. So, um, what about your character that you identify with? What did you learn from playing this role? Well, he's an Arab uh, that is, uh, in his Muslim belief, he's a very strong belief system. I grew up with my dad's side of the family being Muslim, my mom's side of the family being Mormon, and now I'm Christian, my, my whole family's Christian, and uh, it was kind of a house divided. You know, my dad's the best man in the world, but when faiths are divided, it can make for an interesting conversation at dinner. So looking at this character that is about to be shook at his roots and question everything he's ever believed in. Well, I mean, for me, I just related right away. I was like, that's how I feel. I didn't know if I should go left, if I should go right. And now, being a Christian, I can look back and relate with him on every level. Yeah, what about end times movies do you think is so attractive to people today? Because they, there's a few of them out there. Yeah, there's more than a few. It's, <laughs> it's interesting because people want to put themselves... You watch a Survivor show and... and you, well, I, part of you wants to try that. You don't, if you really did try that, it would be the worst thing ever. And you watch like Walking Dead and shows like this. And yeah, I mean, you get this whole just of what would it be like if, I, if this happened or this happened. But this is something that will happen. I believe it will happen. And people wa are going to watch this movie and they're going to ask questions of who am I? You know, what do I believe in or what should I believe in or why don't I believe and where am I going? And 
as a human, you ask these questions. I believe if people said they didn't ask that question to themselves, they're lying. You know, I agree. I, I think even if someone doesn't claim to be a Christian, I think in all of us, there is a certain amount of questioning about what happens next and those types of things. So, yeah. hundred percent. I believe that. I mean, to believe that there's nothing after this, that would make my life hopeless. You know, to know that there's something, there's life after death makes, gives my life meaning. And to be able to be in a movie that might even save one soul, that's worth it. That's worth every penny. That's right. So when can people uh, look for this movie and look for you? Late summer. Right now we have not put an exact date on it, but late summer. And um, I know that when this comes out, um, Christians are going to love it. Non-Christians are going to want to see it. They're going to want to critique it. Good. I want them to come critique it. I want them to pick it apart because that's when God gets to do his work. Great. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it myself, especially knowing the film was shot in Louisiana. I'm wow. particularly excited about it, too. So thank for Part two, hopefully, that's soon. That's right. Thank you so much for being with Wonderful. us. Wonderful. Thank you for having me. Okay. And thank you for joining us today on Christian Movie Connect. Tune in again next week. This is Cheryl Wicker. Have a good day.